Hello, my name is Raido Boost, and in this video I will talk about AutoCAD 2017 new feature called PDF Import. This PDF Import enables to convert PDF files to AutoCAD drawing or graphical elements. But before I start a tool PDF Import, I will talk about PDF files. And I have also opened up my earlier versions of AutoCAD. I use this file to generate actually PDF files with different qualities. Because we should understand that when we start to use PDF Import in AutoCAD 2017, then we depend on PDF quality settings. Quite often we don't have the freedom to regenerate our PDF files because then we probably have original drawing itself. It's always better to have an original drawing, meaning DWG for example, than PDF. But let's have a look how to generate PDF files with different quality settings. Of course we can use AutoCAD own PDF printer and uh, for that I go to output and pick a PDF export and then as you see I have already generated different PDF files with different PDF presets. For example, smallest file, high quality print and with maximum TPI or tots per inch. You can see what the quality settings are with different presets. For example, smallest file, I can click on options and I can see that it is 400 TPI. And if I click, for example, high quality print, I can see options and 2400 TPI. And I have also generated with maximum TPI that is 4800. TPI. But of course, quite many, depending on country and company, have used different ways to generate PDF files. For example, there are loads of free PDF drivers available. I'm having also here cute PDF files and also free PDF files. Meaning that if I dismiss this dialog and use a plot dialog, I can pick my free PDF or, for example, also cute PDF. And with those plotters, I can also check what is the quality. By default, it may be 300, but I can use a maximum value or I can use a custom value. And again, for example, also 4800 TPI. Okay, anyway, I have generated different PDF files from this drawing. And this drawing is in scale 1 to 75 and my units at the moment are in millimeters. So all numbers you see here are in millimeters. Okay, let's then go back to AutoCAD 2017 and I have a simple new drawing, empty drawing, drawing 2 and I start to use PDF import. So I click on insert tab and send PDF import. Now you can convert your PDF underlay to AutoCAD graphics but you can also pick a file. So I just hit enter and then I can pick my file. I can start with my AutoCAD get PDF driver with smallest file settings and then click open. When import PDF dialog opens you have different settings you can tune and so settings may also define your quality of conversion. But what I recommend usually is that uh, in terms of layers use PDF layers of course, it depends if your PDF file has layers or not. If this PDF was generated using AutoCAD PDF driver, then most probably you have those layers and your objects or graphics or graphical elements are then divided onto different layers. And that's a good thing, of course. You can also use a true type text conversion. So you don't get uh, polo lines, lines, but instead you get uh, AutoCAD text object. But again, it depends if this true type text is available in PDF. You can also convert raster images. And those raster images are saved to your local hard drive or to locations that you have shown in options dialog. You can click also options here and you can see PDF input image location. And also you can join line and arc segments. It's good to select it because then we get just a few lines. It joins if our lines are connected with each other in certain tolerance. Sometimes I may want to use also infer line types from collinear dashes, but uh, at the moment I leave it empty. It's also important to see what is my PDF scale. It is one to one. But uh, as you remember, uh, I pointed out that my PDF was actually with a scale 75. I can include this 75 directly to this box, but let's do it uh, once without it, uh, I just uh, click OK and then I can pick location to where to insert my drawing. So I left click. My drawing is zoomed in. I can click now on different objects. As you see, actually, I don't have in my lowest PDF settings a layer option available. That's why if I look my home tab and also my layers, I have only one layer in here for geometry objects and one layer for solid fills. So if I hide it, then my drawing 
drawing basically hides itself. One more thing, uh, I have to scale it because at the moment it is with wrong scale. So I select my drawing and use a scale command and just left corner and 75 as a scale factor. Now if I zoom in, I can check for example my wall thickness and uh, it should be 92 millimeters. If I zoom in a bit more and I use a distance command, I can then measure up my actual wall thickness and um, it is 90.5. So, but it should be 92. So my error at the moment is 1.5 millimeters. Sometimes it is important, sometimes not, but we should note that um, we are actually not generating construction drawings from BDFs. So it's always better to have original drawing. But we can, of course, have our PDF conversion a bit more precise. And that's why I generated different PDFs with different quality settings. So let's continue. I go back to my insert tab, I pick PDF import again, I hit enter and then I pick my high quality print and open. Once again the same settings, I don't change here anything except that I include my scale 75 because that's the way how I scale it and my PDF original scale is 1 to 1. So 75 works, I hit OK and then I just left click to where I want to insert my drawing. Same scale, but if I zoom in now this drawing and again hit the distance command and measure my distance, it's now 92.7. So the error is 0.1 basically millimeters. So it's much better and uh, I used higher quality PDF settings. As we see, we depend on PDF quality settings, but quite often we can't ask different PDFs because those PDFs are already available and we have to use those that are available. Of course, we can do one more. I use PDF import and uh, again, high quality print, max DPI. So its DPI resolution is twice as much as high quality print. And the main idea why I'm doing it is that um, do we see a difference if I use some maximum DPI value or not? So I click open. Again, same settings here, 75 here and just OK and insert my drawing. Scale is correct, okay, uh, and I now measure my distance. Okay, let's see, it's now 92.07, or again, the same value as before, meaning that um, we don't have to use maximum PDF qualities at all times, but some average works. Of course, we depend on scaling, and we also depend on drawing scale itself, and uh, how much details, what are the minimum or maximum distances or measurements we want to pick. One more big difference here with two last imports is that um, with those, if I click on some line element, I can see that uh, it may belong to different layer. So for example, my heater is on different layer than my, for example, window line. It all depends on PDF settings. And if those layers are available in PDF file, those will be converted as well. So for example, if I look to my layers list, I can see different PDF files, PDF, and send different subnames, and also PDF2 and PDF3. They do have layer names. But let's do one more to show actually that uh, sometimes you don't use AutoCAD PDF files, but uh, those PDFs were exported from, for example, FreePDF or Qt PDF plotters. I pick PDF input again, I hit enter, and now I select, for example, Qt PDF 4800 TPI, so maximum resolution. I hit open, and now, again, I can use my 75 scaling. You also have to pay attention to that my PDF original scale is actually 25 point. So it means actually that 75 is not enough. I use, for example, calculator. Then I multiply 25.4 with 75 and I get 1905. So I use 1905 here. I use same settings as before. I click OK and then I just include my drawing again. I zoom in and let's have a look. When I pick my distance, then this distance is as good as with AutoCAD PDFs. But the main difference is, of course, that those free PDF services 
or programs usually don't allow to include no layer information. So if I click, for example, on some line, I see that again, I have geometry layer only. And uh, if I pick something else, again, geometry layer only. And when I look my layer list, then I can see also that always PDF 4, I have only two different layers as always my lowest PDF settings, always AutoCAD PDF printer, again, two layers. But with higher settings, I can have much better view and much more free them, how I can hide some information away from my drawing or select different lines that belong to same layer. Okay, that was a first insight into PDF import capabilities. Of course, when you start to import your PDF that uh, have, for example, different pages, you can select the page first and then you actually start to import that specific page to your drawing. Please check yourself how it works for you.